Hello, this is the Dermlight 2 Pro Hybrid Dermatoscope. Now this one is quite hard to get hold of these days, but you may come across it if you inherit it from someone who's retiring or they're certainly widely available still second hand. For today, I'm just showing the equipment. To learn how to use it and to interpret what you see, please do come along to a Dermoscopy for Absolute Beginners course run by the PCDS. And you can access this through the PCDS website, which is pcds.org.uk. Now, these ones often came with the silicon case. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is just take the silicon case off so that you can see what lies underneath. So what we have here is a scope. Now you can see here, there is an on off button on this side, which is labeled, although it's quite small, and that will turn it on. So there's the light has come on. And then on this side, there's a button that's labeled mode, and that switches it between polarized and non-polarized mode. This does not have a light to tell you whether you're in polarized or non-polarized. The only way to tell is by looking through the scope and see if it looks like it's polarised light or not. There are ways to do that. We can tell you all about that at the Demoscopy for Absolute Beginners courses. To focus it, you twist this part here. And as you twist it, the end plate extends and retracts. And this is rather neat. It has some markings here. This marking here at the top is marking to show you that this will now be perfectly focused for a flat lesion, which is really good if you're using your camera. You'll notice that there's a marker at plus one millimeter and minus one millimeter. That's how much you can adjust it and still rest it on the skin and the end plate will stay extended. If you take it, if you take it out to less than minus one millimeter like this, and when you touch it on the skin, it will just go back in. And that was a, a problem that people had a lot with these uh, at the beginning when they didn't realize that that was what that was for. What you'll notice with this one is that the end plate comes out on these plastic legs, lots of plastic legs and lots of holes in between where dust can get in. And so you can get dust quite easily on the inside of the end plate. Now these have an end plate that screws off and so you have to actually unscrew it to remove the end plate. And that can be rather a difficult process to do. And the other thing that you will find is that if you use um, any, whatever gel you use as your contact fluid will tend to get stuck in this thread, as you can see here, I've got some stuck in the thread and that makes it sticky and difficult to get off. But it does allow you to clean the end plate and you do still have this bit sticking out so that you can use it taking the end plate off to look in polarized mode at, the, at lesions that have vessels on the surface that you don't want to compress. My great top tip if you do have one of these is that when you screw it back on again, which is a bit fiddly, you don't screw it back on all the way. Don't put it too tight. Otherwise, it can be very difficult to get back off again. And that is definitely a downside of these, which was um, dealt with and updated in later models so that they tend to clip on or have a magnetic, a magnetic adapter for them. These do not come with uh, disposable end caps for looking at lesions on wet surfaces or mucosal lesions. And so if you're going to use this somewhere, you do need somewhere like that, you do need to sterilize it afterwards. And the alternative is to use a piece of cling film over the top. It has quite a small end plate. It doesn't come with a small contact adapter, but actually the end plate's quite small anyway. And I've never had a problem really focusing it um, and using it on smaller areas. It is a dermalite, and what you'll see is that it does not have an, a magnetic ring, it doesn't come with a magnetic ring. However, if you buy the dermalite universal adapter for a phone, it comes with this as standard, and this is the magnetic ring that just screws on onto there so that now 
we can attach it to the phone with no difficulty at all. And once you've got that ring attached, you can use it also with this standard derm light adapter like that. And you will notice as I move it around that although it will slightly unscrew the magnetic bit here, it will not adjust the focus as you move the phone for taking the picture. The charger type for these is not a standard charger. Well, I might double check that because it appears to have two holes. But I'm pretty sure this, the charger site for the, here we go, it's the, it's the five volt charger. So it has its own type of charger. And that can be a problem if you have lost the charger or if you can't find it. It's a very good size, easily handheld. It does not come with its own pocket or um, case of any description, but there is a case available. There is a leather case available. The only downside with the leather case is that it's quite hard to fit it into the leather case when you've got the magnetic ring attached to it, but it does just about fit into the, to the leather case, which has a clip on it for a belt. Um, it's a decent piece of equipment. And if you're offered one of these and you can get it relatively cheaply, it's, it's actually not a bad choice. It's perfectly fine. And um, so this is just showing the equipment now to learn more, as I said, how to use it, then please come along to a Demoscopy for Absolute Beginners course or to one of our other Demoscopy or General Dermatology courses. And you can access them all at pcds.org.uk. So that was the Dermlight 2 hybrid.